honor, pleasure, and privilege not only to serve as your MC for today, but also to assist with the promotional services of Alzheimer's Association of Greater Indiana. It's my honor to spread the word throughout Gary, Indiana, Ham in East Chicago and Northwest Indiana so that we can find a cure. So I am pleased to be here today. I'm going to stay on script. Katie and Julie, thank you for having me. And it is my honor to be a part of the world's largest event to fight this devastating disease. Currently in the United States, more than 6 million people, including 110,000 people right here in the state of Indiana, are living with Alzheimer's, and over 11 million individuals are serving as unpaid caregivers. As the prevalence of this disease continues to grow, the cost of care is escalating into the hundreds of billions. Alzheimer's is destroying our families, it's destroying our finances, and it's trying to destroy our future. And it is time for us to end it, which is why we are gathered here today. Today I'm also grateful to be here with this wonderful community for the Alzheimer's Walk to end Alzheimer's. It's incredible to be a part of this world's largest event to fight this devastating disease. <clears throat> The money we raise helps the Alzheimer's Association lead the way to end Alzheimer's and all other dementia by accelerating global research, driving risk reduction and early detection, and maximizing quality care and support. So far, we've raised, I've been told, we are only $2,000 away from our $85,000 goal. Let's give it up for that. And I'm sure before this afternoon is over, there are plenty of generous donors who are watching virtually, watching us online, and right out here in Wicker Park that are going to make us not only reach, but exceed our goal. In fact, I am going to make sure that I make my donation today on behalf of CWIP PR so we can say we are even closer to our goal right in this moment. Now, I know that many of you have raised a lot of money, but we can always give a little bit more, and it's easy to do for those of you who haven't done so. You can text 2-E-N-D-A-L-Z to 51555 and follow the instructions. Again, you can pull out your cell phone and enter 51555 as your text and put the words 2 and A L Z. That's the number two E N D A L Z. Throughout today's event, I want you to be sure to maintain a physical distance. We want to be safe. And whenever possible, you can wash your hands frequently. And we also have sanitizing stations. Per the CDC guidelines, we ask that all attendees be vaccinated against COVID 19 or to wear a mask when in crowded areas. And we are definitely doing that today. <laughs> making sure that we keep one another safe. And now, on behalf of the millions of Americans affected by this disease, we deeply appreciate your time and help in raising essential awareness and funds for Alzheimer's care, support, and research. And after we wrap up this great event today, we hope that you, each and every one of you, will continue to spread the word about this cause. Ask your friends and your family and your co-workers to donate and join us next year. Alzheimer's is not stopping, but neither are we. So I believe it is now the time that we are going to start our Promise Garden Ceremony. Is there a special track that goes with that, Mr. DJ? I'm sure he has one. He's a DJ.
as you can see, the walk to Alzheimer's is full of flowers. Each one representing our connection to Alzheimer's. It's our reason to end this disease. No matter what color you're holding, one thing is the same. These flowers have a lot of fight in them. If you have a flower and it's blue, you're here today because you're living with Alzheimer's or another type of dementia. Do me a favor and keep that flower held up high. If you are holding a yellow flower, you're here today because you're supporting someone who's living with Alzheimer's. Please, at this time, hold your flower up high. If you have a purple flower, you're participating in the walk today because you've lost someone to Alzheimer's or another dementia. Please, everyone with a purple flower, hold it high. Beautiful. And if you're holding an orange flower, you're here to support the cause and the association's vision of a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia. Let's keep that flower up really high. Now take a look at the symbolic flowers that surround you. Like flowers, we don't stop when something's in our way. We keep pushing for a breakthrough. We keep pushing and pushing and pushing for a breakthrough in a fight against Alzheimer's and all other dementia. With this colorful display of determination, I am confident that one day we will add a flower to this garden, a white flower that represents the first survivor of Alzheimer's. Wouldn't that be an incredible addition to our garden? Until that beautiful day happens, we must not back down. We must continue to lead the way because together we can end Alzheimer's. Say it with me, together we can end Alzheimer's. Again, I'm so glad you're here. I wanna thank you for allowing me to be your host for today and make sure you space out. Enjoy yourselves today. Walk in memory of loved ones, walk for a cure and know that you are making a difference. God bless you all. Woo!